China is divided. Total War. A franchise that I love is finally going to one of my favorite time periods ever. Oh, we talking Three Kingdoms, baby. The old romance of the Three Kingdoms, as it's historically known. If you follow this channel, you know that I am deeply and insanely obsessed with the Three Kingdoms period of China. Mostly thanks to, and I definitely need to give them a shout out here, the Dynasty Warriors series. I love those games. I know, I know, I can't explain it either. Somehow, playing as Xiao Yun or Cao Cao, aka Cao Cao, or Sun Tse or whoever, and murdering thousands of men with a swing of a blade really inspires you to learn about why you slaughtered every last yellow turban. Characters like Lu Bu, Zhang Fei, Zhu Ge Liang, Sima Yi, Lu Jun, all of the characters that I'm probably not pronouncing correctly and you're gonna let me know in the comments about, but I don't care because I love them all. There was so much to learn and discover that by the time movies like Red Cliff came out, I was deep into the lore. So when I had the chance to sit down and play the demo for the new Total War Three Kingdoms, oh, I played it. A bunch. Sadly, the overworld aspects of the campaign and the map and all that weren't available. This is just a demo of the combat system. But the battle that I did get to play, I played enough that I understand some of the new mechanics and uh, I love them. The scenario was your basic total war ambush. Sun Ren and her brother are moving with their army and they come under attack. If we so now, the river, you we have the option to run, the gates. attack, or we could attempt to survive the ambush through a force of arms, or defend. This hill would make a good defensive position en route. Should of course, I arrive. tried them all because I had to see what Prepare the different options were and what would happen. We did defensive formations, charging right back up at them. and luring them across the water to a nearby hill. All of which had different outcomes, but the key to combat were the two heroes. When Total War announced their next game was gonna be based off Romance of the Three Kingdoms, my immediate first thought was, how are they gonna take a period where a hero was the most important figure to the story and translate that into a Total War game? Cause no matter how much it's about Shu, Wu, or Wei, it really is about the characters within them. So now I have my answer. Unlike other Total War games, Three Kingdoms offers much more character dimension. First is their level of satisfaction. Think of it akin to something like the Dark Elves in Total War Warhammer. If they don't like the way you're running stuff, they can opt to leave with their men and may even be recruited by another faction, even an enemy. The first thing I thought of was like, oh, this is like Guan Yu, okay. And I'll save the spoilers, but it definitely fits. Also, look, I'm a huge shoe fanboy, so expect a lot of comparisons to them if I need to make them in this video. Next, characters can build friendships or form rivalries, which affect their attitude during the campaign. Friends will fight better together in battle, but if one leaves you, chances are his friends will go too. Think, uh, to go back to Shu again, the oath in the Peach Garden between Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei. That's just one example of how the system works. Characters now also fall into archetypes, based off the elements of Wu Jing in ancient Chinese philosophy. Each of the five elements is available to all the characters. And while you can't change their main element, you can invest in skill points to enhance their other elemental characteristics. But from the start, they have a principal element that acts as their core mechanic. So for instance, Vanguard, or Fire, are the frontline warriors. Those are the ones whose characteristic is instinct, and they grant bonuses to cavalry. Sentinels, Metal, are the tanky line holders, and they grant bonuses to melee infantry with their expertise characteristic. Strategists, Water, are exactly what they sound like. Not great fighters, but they grant bonuses to ranged units and provide the characteristic of cunning. Commanders, Earth, are military coordinators who buff the army with the characteristic of authority. And last, are Champions. These are commoners who have risen through the ranks based on their skills with the characteristic of resolve, they are super strong in 1v1 duels. Oh, that's right. There are 1v1 duels, and they are awesome. By engaging another enemy leader one-on-one, -on -one, soldiers of both factions will stand around and watch an epic duel go down. The winner killing the enemy and possibly single-handedly changing the course of the battle. It's pretty effing epic, and it definitely is a reason to scroll in. 
So using all of the information we've learned so far, if, for example, you send Su Ren's brother, Sun Quan, a commander, into battle one-on-one, -on -one, which he is very ill-suited for, and he dies, while it negatively impacts your army, it will 100% send Sun Ren into a rage, buffing her and making her into a stone-cold badass. Which, as I found out, in the hard mode of the demo, is literally the best way to beat it, and maybe the only way as far as I'm aware. So, that's pretty much all the information I have right now. Clearly, many of the other Total War rules apply, and there's some fun things still left to be discovered. I have no idea what the map or the campaign's gonna look like, and I don't know how they intend to tell the story, since it's crazy in depth and covers a long period of time and kids, and I guess we'll have to see. But I, for one, am very hyped for this game and everything I've seen so far. Total War Three Kingdoms is set to release on March 7th, 2019, and I can't wait to jump on red hair and ride my ass into battle. But that's it for me, everybody, so thank you for watching, and if you have any comments or thoughts, leave them below. I'm definitely playing this game on launch. Let me know how you want me to play, what you want me to do. I'm down to play Wei, I'm down to play Wu. I'll be any army, but nothing's better than Shu. <laughs> that, that rhymed, that rhymed. That's how I'm ending it. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Not a lot of time for video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, no, sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a professional broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You got